Um, my name is Simon Bugwa. I was born and raised in Nairobi and I'm um, 20, turning 25 uh, in the middle of this year. It was a bit of a challenge. Like growing up, I didn't used to have that privilege of like if I need something, I would get it immediately. I went to a school called Joseph Kangede, it was in Woodley. So basically Woodley has been my in and out hood, been in sometimes, then I move out, come back in. Then after that I did go to high school, uh, after my primary school that is. Um, high school was different, honestly. It was so different because, you know, now you learn about no more choices. You have to like say what you were taught and remember it. So that was a bit of a culture shock for me because I was so used to like, if I didn't know it, there was this or this, so I had options. Then came university where like, it was just a whole different experience because now you're used to being told what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Now you're just told, we've paid your fees, so you read, you don't read, it's all you, it's all on you. And yeah, there are also challenges in between, like there was the times that um, school fees was lacking, so that was a, a bit hectic for me because there were some times I couldn't attend classes, I couldn't like attend even cats. Sometimes I even had to plead with the lecturers, like just give me a second chance, just allow me to find some time because it was hard, you know, like university was super expensive because like one semester or two semesters you have like almost a hundred thousand and you know you still have investments like shamba and stuff like that so it was really hectic but thankfully um, I did manage to finish it despite that challenge it did teach me that you know if you're resilient enough if you want it badly enough you can get it so that was something I also learned when I was in high school and also part of college. Then um, after college, it was just hype. I was like, oh, I'm done with college, so now I'm just chilling. I was still living with my parents, so it wasn't that hard for me, but they did want me to have a better life. So they encouraged me to go out and look for my own. It was hard at first. It took like a few months before I got something sustainable, because I started off as a car wash attendant, uh, okay, I was I was impressed by it that you could get money. I didn't even know about that concept until afterwards. It was nice to know that you could work and you know get paid. So that actually motivated me to work even harder because I was like, the more you work, the more money you get. And fortunately, like it was a seasonal business. When it rained, it was busy. When it was dry, which was most of the year, it was hard to maintain. So I needed to find something that was worth like on and off, you can still get a source of income. Well, um, it was just a notice. My, my auntie said, you know, these guys are hiring. You've been like out of job since January, so why not? So they gave me a number. I said, call the reception and say you would like an interview. So if they're interested, they can call you. So I just told to bring your CV and you know the script. If you're qualified, you'll be called. If not, keep trying. Yeah, to make a lot of money but most importantly to make money and help people reach where I've reached like I want to be that person who when someone is in need may it be like financial or physical whatever need it is I'll be there to assist because I also know how it feels to lack because I've been there I'm uh, mostly just having the opportunity to live because I don't take that for granted because I'm um, like for instance, there was this time that we had incidences in our family of loss. We lost loved ones at very tender ages. So just seeing that, I was like, that could have been me, but you know, you don't understand. So every time you just wake up and you're like, I'm alive, you just thank God, because I don't think it would have been easier for me to just wake up and just bring myself, because you know, there's a higher power and I appreciate that. Mostly it's patience, because I did realize that uh, being in call center, you deal with diverse people, so you need to learn how to be professional with that. I think uh, growing up, I was just used to ignoring things that didn't work out for me, but Techno Brain gave me that 
a motivation to face what was not right and you know make an improvement you don't have to just sit back and see that something is wrong and you just say it's not my fault it's not my problem dr brain actually taught me that if there's a problem and you know how to can help why not help and at least help someone else thanks so much for the opportunity i honestly would not have been this far where i am like growth wise professional wise without you and i appreciate the opportunity thank you so much